Are you looking to draft a new puncher or kicker? If so, come join me while we go over the process. Week 3 is the first week you can scout. You start with 175 points, unless you have the upgraded package for the coach, in which we'll show you later in the video. But for now, we'll jump in and check out what we have. Starting over here with the kickers, to conserve points, you really just want to hit with the first category and kind of narrow it down from there. Everybody's pretty close, so we'll keep going with the next column. And that really kind of helped out. So these three guys have obviously the same kick power or close enough, but C plus kick accuracy versus B. We definitely don't want to continue with Tim Lambert. We'll save the points. B minus, slightly lower. So we might want to keep going just in case. And B plus down here, he doesn't have the leg, but he has the highest accuracy. So it's not that high in points. We're just going to hit all three. And we have quite the decision between these three. So this is where you have to decide what kind of kicker you want. With Trent Abrams, he has the best leg, well tied with Will Tiller, but his accuracy is the lowest and he has the highest awareness. So of course, kick power is gonna be how far your kicker kicks it. Accuracy is gonna be how wide your meter is when it swings around and try and stop it. And awareness affects how quickly the meter moves. So Trent Abrams has the smallest area to hit, but it's gonna be moving the slowest. On the other hand, Will Tiller has one hell of a leg. His accuracy is in between Abrams and Foster, but he has that F awareness. So slightly bigger area to hit, but it's gonna be moving faster than Abrams. And down here at Chris Foster, he has the worst leg of everybody here, but he has the highest accuracy. For me personally, kick power is the most important thing for me. So I would choose between these two. And at that point, it would be really kind of a coin flip for me, but if you look over here at the diamonds, Trent Abrams is projected to be a late first rounder, whereas Will Tiller is a late fourth rounder. So the computer kind of already tells you how it is. It's often not completely accurate, but it's normally not way off either. So this gives you a pretty good idea. I would use that as the tiebreaker and go with Trent Abrams. And at this point, I'd add all three to my list just in case. And you just do that by hitting triangle and it adds them to your draft board, which we'll go over later. Moving over to punter, we're gonna do the same thing, hitting the first column of each one. And the punters run off of the exact same principles. And all you will ever see is kick power, kick accuracy, and awareness. There is nothing else that matters and there's nothing else that it'll show. So all three of these guys have the exact same kick power. So let's continue. B plus, B, C plus, C. Well, on there is it down pretty good. I would just go maybe between these two, F, F, why not one more, what's another? Well, that kind of makes it interesting right there. I would, ah, what the hell? Let's look at him. Eh, Gary Cleveland, last, that's kind of what we expected. So in this case, the CPU is saying second round, second round, and first round talent for these three. And personally, with that big of a difference in kick accuracy, I would lean towards Blair Cook, even though it says he's a second rounder, and Conrad Jenkins is a first. But let's click on him and see. So if you look over there in the corner, it says late first rounder. But over here, it's early second rounder. So it's pretty much saying that they're right next to each other. They're the same age, so that doesn't matter. Nathan Mulligan, he's one year younger, so that helps his case a little bit. We're gonna add these guys to the draft board. Now we'll skip later in the season and show you how to upgrade your coach. Now to upgrade your coach, you go over to the team tab, down to my coach, spend XP, and then right here at the top, scouting expert, increase that, bam, it is done. It costs 1400 XP and it is completely worth it. Now each week you go from 175 points to use for scouting, to 200. Doesn't sound like much, but 25 points a week will get you approximately one extra player scouted each week. All right, we're here in off-season free agency number two. This is where you first get to see your combine scores. It's not gonna really make a big difference with these guys. So now at this point, we're gonna go over to the draft board tab and we're gonna sort everybody. So generally speaking, your kicker is gonna be a little more important. So we'll go with Chris Foster, number one, followed by Trent Abrams. And at that point, Will Teller, not too impressed with him. So let's put a punter in there. I would say number one would be, in fact, Conrad Jenkins, who was originally a first round talent, now shows to be an early second, and still early second for Blair Cook, 
So just kind of like what we were thinking before, Blur Cook. We'll make him the third guy on our list. And then I'd say Conrad Jenkins behind him, just because he was kind of close because his awareness is higher. And then at this point, we'll leave it in this order. I think that's how I want it. So now let's go into the draft and see how we did. And jumping into the draft with the second overall pick, almost like we were the Raiders 15 years ago, we are going to select Chris Foster. Of course, of course, this is not where you would normally want to take him. He's a pretty good looking kicker, so you might want to take him maybe as early as the fourth, but I'd really say more like the fifth or the sixth. Let's take him, Chris Foster. 67 overall. A little disappointing there, but kickers tend to have a lower overall than everybody else. And let's just go to the next guy and see what they look like. Next up is Trent Abrams. Should be pretty close. And 71, okay. So my instincts were a little off. He is, he's definitely better, but his ratings, it was definitely because of his awareness, which is pretty high. When we're done with the draft, we'll kind of compare their numbers and see how close they are with kick power, kick accuracy, and awareness. Next up, Blair Cook, the first punter on our board and 69 overall. All right, let's keep going. And Conrad Jenkins, the next punter on the board. 70 overall, okay, I'm a little off. We'll check out the numbers a little later. Will Tiller, the last kicker on our board. 64, yep, he was definitely the last guy for a reason. Back to the punters, Nathan Mulligan. Let's go. 67, okay, so we've got a good class of punters here. And with our last selection, we're checking out Gary Cleveland. 66, okay, so we did the punters in the right order. Let's check it out at the end of the draft. And here in the draft recap, let's see if we can sort this by position. No, it's not really letting me. Well, I can here, will it keep my order? So I guess we'll start with the punters being it's on top. At least it's in order of how we took them. So we started with Blur Cook at 69, then Conrad Jenkins at 70, Nathan Mulligan at 67, and Gary Cleveland at 66. So we were pretty close to being in order. It was a point difference. So Blair Cook wasn't quite as good, but let's see why. Well, first I can see that Blair Cook is eight lower for his awareness, so that's probably a good chunk. And for whatever reason, it's not showing kick power, but kick accuracy is 10 higher for Blair Cook than Conrad Jenkins. So let's go into them individually and see what the kick power is. So Blair Cook is 89 for kick power. Not exactly happy about that, but Jenkins 87 lower. So it's clearly just awareness. And it's an eight point difference that put Conrad Jenkins one point higher. I would gladly take two more kick power and 10 more kick accuracy over eight awareness. So even though that it shows that we took the wrong guy first, I think we took the right one first. And here at the kickers, this is where the biggest discrepancy was from a 67 to a 71. And there is a 10 point difference in awareness. We've already seen that that makes a pretty big difference. Let's check out kick power and kick accuracy. Chris Foster, the first guy we took, has 89 kick power and 78 kick accuracy versus Trent Abrams, who has 91 kick power and 74 kick accuracy. So unfortunately, in this case, you can see that it's not an exact science. Their numbers were really close and won't like it even show that they had the same kick power. Well, there's some wiggle room in there. And unfortunately, Trent Abrams was the better guy. He has better kick power, better awareness and his kick accuracy is only four difference. That's not that big of a deal when the other two are so much higher. So unfortunately, Trent Abrams was the better guy, but you still have a pretty good idea of what you're working with here. And versus Will Tiller, which we definitely had as number three, and 90 kick power, 75 kick accuracy, and no awareness. So that thing is just flying around when you're trying to stop it. Plus, I also have a theory that the lower your awareness, the easier it is for you to be blocked. You'll see that delay where the kicker just, you go through the kick meter and then your kicker just stands there and everybody's starting to move except for the kicker. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna let this plate develop. Let's see, oh, should I now try and kick it? Okay, yeah, at, meanwhile, one of your corners are coming off the edge and he's just standing here like, yep, yeah, I, I'm ready, go ahead and kick it. My, my hands are already up. So that's, that's a theory, I haven't been able to prove that. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. And one last tidbit, when in doubt, go for the younger player. The younger guys progress faster than the older players. And kind of no matter where it grades your guy, don't take him any higher than the fifth round. But that's going to do it for this tutorial on how to scout and draft 
kickers and punters. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, I have more videos on how to scout and draft other positions on the channel. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, jump on down and hit that big red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We also have other content like my Bulldogs Relocation Franchise Series and Madden Experiments where we might test out how much awareness affects kickers and punters. But that's going to be a wrap for this video. This is Extinguisher 10 setting out. Have a great rest of your day.